Hi, this is Simon at Serif. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to transform a paper sketch into a vector illustration using DrawPlus. Here's a pencil sketch that I've scanned and imported into DrawPlus as an image. The first step is to ink the lines using the pen tool. At this point, I need to make sure that I start work on a new layer above the sketch. I'll zoom into an area of the character and trace this line by clicking to add a node along its path. I'll avoid joining the start and end points of this line as later on I want to customise the look of particular areas. Tracing areas as connected lines restricts my ability to do this. Once I've finished drawing a line, I'm pressing the escape key, ready to draw another. I'll move on quickly to trace the rest of the hand and the arm. I want to emphasise particular features of the character, so I'm going to draw attention by customising the pressure profile of specific lines. With a line selected, I'm going to select the Pressure tab. Here you can choose from a variety of pressure profiles, which determine the look of your laid down strokes. I'm going to choose a profile that is harder in the middle, and select the Line tab to increase the overall thickness of the line. I'm repeating these steps until happy with the results. My character is coming along nicely. Next, it's time to bring the character to life with colour. Before starting out, it's good to have a think about the colours you'd like to use and how particular shades work together. Earlier, I created this colour palette simply by colouring quick shape squares. Creating an on-screen palette like this allows you to see all desired colours together and gives you the ability to pick exactly the colours you need. Here, I have my base colours as well as darker shades for the shadows. To start adding colour to the character, I'm working on a new layer under my line work and using the pen tool to trace individual sections. This time, I'm going to connect the start and end points of lines together to create closed sections that can be coloured separately. I've added shadow simply by creating a new area and selecting a darker tone. I'm going to proceed to colour the remainder of the character. And here's the final result. To finish off, I'm going to add a background. Here's one that I created earlier from Quick Shapes and has the effect of making the character lift off the page. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration about how DrawPlus can help you transform a sketch into a stunning vector drawing. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself. If you've created a drawing that you're particularly proud of, Upload it to drawplus.com and share it with the Drawplus community. Many thanks for watching.